Hello guys, myself Nikma Sispadi from beginner to pro dot in. Today I am gonna show you how to build a line chart by uh, manually inputting the values. Later on in my next video I will show you how to parse the data from the server or database and put it in the line chart. So first of all <coughs> mm, uh, I bought the repositories and dependencies from github so I'm gonna add it to the uh, uh, build gradle module app I have already created a new project uh, named line chart so let's add those two lines okay so it goes here and another one repositories goes here after that sync it make sure you have an active internet connection so <coughs> yep my credit bit finished move on to activity main here I have to create a line chart where I'll show my point. Okay, line chart from GitHub. Okay, so match parent with match parent. Make sure to assign a ID <coughs> line chart. Okay, now let's move on to main activity. Here I have to declare. Uh, variable of line chat that is an object line chat and further I have to dis declare three error list okay one is of x axis one is of y axis and another error list which will join the line between two points of y axis okay so let's start with this error list my x axis is of string type because I'm gonna use days x axis is equal to new array list array list and make sure it is of entry type because I'm gonna entry the values to the y axis uh, from where the point will start okay so entry okay, access is equals to new uh, array list okay now I'm gonna create another array list which will join the two points between y axis so name it as i line data set okay uh, it's i line data set not line data set so line data sets new array list now we'll move on further declare the object line chart which equals to line chart line view by Trees. So I'm gonna add values to x axis and y axis. Let's start with x axis. X axis is of string type. So this okay. Copy this. Friday. Now I will continue to 
y axis and here it is of entry type so I am declaring entry next here on the left side <coughs> I have to put values of integer and float type only and on the right side I have to plot the points uh, that is the index okay see then zero consider it as the index 10 if you can put or uh, 10 but you couldn't put 10.0 it will show an error because it will not accept data types are double so I will use integer ok for y axis also I have to add 5 entries here I will add 50 and 40 and 60 here 20 so as these are the index make it 1 if you will keep all same then the values will overlap so we are of that now I am gonna create a <coughs> pointer which will run till the end of the array ok so it is of string type because I am using x axis that's why because x axis is the is of string type so I'm using x axis also as a string type string x axis make sure it is x axis dot size okay so I have the size now I have done a counter Will run till the end of x axis is the total size of the array of x axis so string type. So I am defining the values to the x axis which I have defined here. Okay, make sure use i array x axis dot get i this is the i'm getting its index and to string because it is a string type okay i now i'm gonna add some feature to y axis that is features like i'm gonna make a circle at the entries or values i have defined and mark the color as blue ok so line data set line data set is equals to only line data set y axis comma here I am gonna assign a name to the y axis that is values ok values because it will display on the line graph ok uh, it will display here wait a minute uh, here it will display as uh, the value and the color which is defining the y axis ok the color which is defining the y axis so let's move on line data set dot draw circles to ok uh, mark it as false then it will not draw circle and data set dot set color color dot blue and marking it as blue color so after that I mentioned before that this highline data set array list is used to join make a line between two points okay uh, uh, means I want to draw a line from this point 10 to this point 50 from this from to this this to this that's why analyst i line dataset is used 
okay so i'm gonna define that line data sets array list i line data set okay line data sets dot add so i have added this line data set okay if you are if you want to draw multiple number of lines then you have to again make a new array list of entry type of y axis 1 y axis 2 okay here again you have to set draw colors to color red y axis 1 and the value then you have to again line data set dot add line data set 1 okay for that you can continue so now i'm gonna add features to line set line set dot set data data new line data x axis term x axis okay this is axis line data sets okay and it's the x axis the d is okay and the line data sets which I have entered from y axis. Okay. So now I'm gonna add more features. I chat dot set visible x range maximum. The maximum range I'm defining float 65f line chat dot set touch enable. If you are enabling the touch function then you can zoom it zoom out okay set drag enable it is used sorry line chat dot set drag enable here I can drag it will turn on the feature of tag so now check uh, there is no error so now we can continue with the execution part Select employment target. Initializing. Okay. Okay. So, yes, right here. Now the cradle field is running. Okay. I have to wait. any doubt comment below you can find uh, the source code find the source code of the line chart at beginner to pro dot in there you can also comment add your suggestion please do comment zero index and it is a first index and this is a second index and it is a third index and the point I have defined are also marked with circles and that's function enable also drag function zoom in zoom out touch enable function that's why the dependency of github is more better I hope you enjoyed a lot and please do comment 
and do suggest if you have any query comment below and that will help you have a good day